Hi, it's Maureen Muldoon, and you are watching Miracles, of course, where we talk about A Course in Miracles. And we, uh, I've been able to interview a couple of really great teachers, and today I have an interview for you uh, with Earl Purdy, who is an exceptional teacher of A Course in Miracles. Um, but before I begin the interview, I just wanted to um, let you know that that you know what I love to do is I love I love supporting teachers of A Course in Miracles, and I love creating new groups. Um, I've created groups in Los Angeles, in North Carolina, in Chicago, and you know across the country. And I I love um, helping people to start groups um, and. For some people that's really difficult and for other people it's like second nature. So for those people who it's kind of difficult or they're, they're shy about um, creating a study group, two of the things that I recommend are number one, that if you get nervous about your understanding of A Course in Miracles, if you feel called to do a, to do a, a study group, then you're supposed to do it, number one. And number two, if you get nervous about it, or if you think, I don't know it enough, or I'm not perfect enough, or whatever, just always go right back to the book. The book has all the answers for you. Sometimes in groups, we start to um, try and figure out the, the problem at the level of the problem. And um, and we can, you know, get into, um, you know, being too cerebral about it. Um, just go back to the book. Uh, usually, uh, not usually, every time I've found that if there, if we get too, you know, into the thought of it, um, when we go back to the book, it's it's basically miraculous how the next couple of lines kind of unsolve, I mean, um, undo the riddle. So that's an awesome thing to remember. Go back to the book, stay close to the book. And number two is, if you're a student or a teacher of A Course in Miracles, and you walk into a classroom or you create a classroom, and there's no laughter happening, run the fuck out of there. <laughs> I should bleep myself, but I'm not going to. Um, because because this, this course is based on re realizing that this is all an illusion. And, and in realizing this is all an illusion, there's very little for us to do but laugh. And so there should definitely be laughter in every group. Um, and that is why I love this teacher that I'm going to interview, Earl Purdy, because he's all about joy and laughter. In fact, I think he's one of the most joyful teachers of A Course in Miracles I've ever run into. Um, so here he is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy that you're like sitting in my house because I've watched you so many times on YouTube. And uh, every time I watch you, you bring me joy. I'm so glad. That's that's what my purpose is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I believe we're here. Really. Ultimately, yeah, yeah, to be the joy, right? Mm -hmm. To really show that that this is what happens when you pay attention to the Holy Spirit. This is what happens when you focus in on the truth about yourself. Is that you become a witness to the joy. Yeah. And 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 therefore a witness to everybody's innocence around you because it's hard to feel guilty in the presence of somebody that's happy. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Because in that yeah. moment, you really realize that in that moment, you're certainly not doing anything to bring any kind of pain or sadness to anyone. So, so, so I see joy as just being a great witness to innocence. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I never thought about it like that. But it's true. And when somebody's in their joy, it is contagious. Mm -hmm. And it does sort of make you go, what's he so happy about? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then you get a chance to say, well, it's because of the way I'm looking at things. Mm -hmm. Rather than to jump to, well, it's because I have a new house, a new car, a new mate, a new job, a new career. It's because yeah. of the, it's, it's the way I'm looking at things that's bringing me the joy. Yeah, and you can tell when... Um, like that, like when somebody wins something, you know, they have like that exuberant, ah! Mm -hmm. And then when somebody is just like anchored in joy, it's different. It's a different energy. Like one of them is just sort of what I call like, you know, spiritual lust. And one of them is like just really just being immersed in love. Absolutely. And, and, and with joy, there comes also like true joy, I think, there comes like this um, sister, these twin sisters, and one of them, the other one is peace, you know, like joy, the joy that you, that I get from A Course in Miracles, it's enthusiasm, but it's also like, there's like this beautiful peace about it. You That's know? right. 
It doesn't right. feel like it's going to come and go. It just feels like anchored. And um, and that's what I that's what I want. I want a peace and a joy that can't be shaken by anything outside mm-hmm. of myself. You know, mm-hmm. and and that's what the Course in Miracles has done for me. It's, it's it's given me a way of looking at things that that got me in touch with a part of me that's completely unshaken by anything that's going on outside mm-hmm. of myself. Mm-hmm. And then when I am it, it, um, looking through the part of my mind that does appear to get upset, then I also I'm very gentle with myself and I'm not beating myself up with the, what I call the psychic sledgehammer like I used to. Right. You know? Yes, amen. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, that's, that's, that's interesting. Wow, this is the way I feel right now. Okay, I feel that. And then mm-hmm. I realize I gave it all the meaning it has for me. And <laughs> and I'm grateful I have the power to do that. And I'm still as God created me. Amen. That's my little real quick process. Yeah, get out of that hole. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> and I find that the, the quickest way for me to get out of the hole in a way is to allow it, to allow myself to have the feelings. It seems like they'll move on through yep. than when I grab them and, and analyze them. Yep. You know. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Just be with them. Yeah, because if I be grab them, it's going to stay it. with me longer. Yeah. 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 So I so I only have like a few minutes to interview you, and but I know this won't be our last time together. No, no, no way. No way. It's not our first time and not our last <laughs> time either. This is a continuation. <laughs> so one of the things I wanted to ask you is, um, what's your favorite thing about A Course in Miracles? My favorite thing about The Course in Miracles is yeah. that through The Course in Miracles, I really got an incredible relationship with God mm-hmm. and higher power and my relationship to Jesus, you know, which to me, I grew up in the, I, I had a misperception of Jesus based on my early religious teachings yeah. that the Course in Miracles corrected. So uh-huh. in a sense, it, you know, I forgave Jesus for what Jesus never did. Mm-hmm. Now, wow. You know, because yeah. it never was Jesus. It was always right. people's interpretation about what Jesus was, Jesus was about. And the other thing that I'm most grateful for the Course in Miracles is that it gave me a new interpretation of everything that would allow me to keep my inner peace. Mm-hmm. And then when I have an inner peace, I can hear my own inner teacher. Amen. Yes, absolutely. So that yeah. to, And the other thing was that it gave me the feeling that I was sustained by the love of God, that yeah. real feeling of being taken care of, being supported, never being alone in any situation. Mm-hmm. That's that's the other one that really had a big effect on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. I know, such gifts. That's that was that was what it did for me because I I'd, I'd done a great job in manifesting without really having inner peace. And so the Course in Miracles showed me that, you know, how to have and move toward that inner peace and how to forgive myself when I'm not in it. Yeah. That's you know, awesome. Yeah. What would what advice would you have for new students or teachers of A Course in Miracles? Uh, to in the beginning, uh, let go of the idea that they need to understand the course. <laughs> yes. That, you know, that yeah. just go ahead and, and and jump in there and start reading it a certain amount of it every day. Determine whether they are set aside an hour or so, and even if you don't understand everything you're reading. Keep reading as opposed to stopping and going, I'm not going to go any further until I understand what this paragraph is saying. Because to me, that's the biggest trick in the course. Because if you keep going, I found that you always come up on a sentence or a phrase or a paragraph that knock your socks off. Yeah, I just, just for the preempt of this, I mm-hmm. shared the same thing I shared. Listen, if you're studying, just keep close to the book. That's right. And don't forget to laugh. Don't forget to laugh because <laughs> uh, because, because the voice of the course, as I call him, uh, has an, an incredible dry wit. I call it, it to me, it, Jesus kind of reminds me of uh, Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> that kind of like really dry kind of humor that so knock your socks off. If we make the movie, off. we know who to cast it. Yeah, and if, <laughs> And also, and if you find yourself having a really challenge with the terminology, the Christian terminology, just know that that's another area where you have some type of misperception that needs to be healed rather than rejecting the material because of the meaning you are putting on it. Amen. Because that's really what the person is resisting. They're just resisting their past learning, not yeah. what the course is saying. Yeah, because I know personally, I sometimes have a resistance of the male pronoun. There you go. And it's just like, I just want a freaking book that has like the feminine pronoun as God. And it hasn't happened yet, but it will happen in my lifetime. And until then, I just have to f- just um, accept what is in joy. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like he's it's, it's actually presenting you with an opportunity to forgive and to see I'm things I'm done with opportunities way. to forgive, Earl. I've had <laughs> I enough opportunities to I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But as long as we're here, we're going to have opportunities to to forgive. forgive. And to me, that's the same as saying you're having another opportunity to laugh. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. This that's is no another, wonder yeah. I'm laughing so Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> because that's the only way to disappear. Like you said, the world will end in laughter. 
you know, so I'm so I'm really about the laughter as much as I possibly can, especially in my own stuff, because I find it's kind of easy yes. to apply the truth to everybody else's stuff, yeah. you know, but to laugh at my perceptions of fear. Now, that's a, to me, that's mastery. Yeah. You know, and that's what I'm working on. So that with so with new students of the course, make it okay not to know, make it okay not to understand, make it okay to have a beginner's mind and and to have a sense of humor yeah. as much as you can about it and to uh to to try to let go of the temptation to analyze it. Amen. Yeah. You know, like I got to break it down because he says that's how you actually destroy the meaning of something. Yeah. What I like to say is mm -hmm. like for new students, when I remember sitting in this one course and I was just like, what are they saying? It's all gobbledygook. Mm -hmm. And I looked over at the lady next to me and she said, what I like to do is I just like to lay down and let it wash over me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then it absorbs, through, somehow absorbs mm -hmm. through you mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you get what you need. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. it's a, and it's a slow process. In this you know, society, we don't care for the slow process. We want to microwave everything. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this course actually actually um, requires that you slow down that's right and you you know digest it in um, in, in an easy way when, you know, gobbling it down well one of my favorite lines in the course is that uh, is that it says that uh, your understanding isn't a powerful contribution to the truth <laughs> and make it what it, it makes it what it is <laughs> and that and that that's that statement is so cool you know because we truly act like our understanding is making some kind of powerful contribution to the truth you know or, you know, if the fact that I don't agree, it can't be true. That's another good one we do. Oh, if I don't understand it and I don't agree, then it couldn't be true. And it's like, wow, what an arrogant perception. I swear to God, that is so funny because a lot of times I'll say, like, you know, uh, this is the day the Lord has made, not for you to pass judgment on it, not for your opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, not God didn't say, this is the mm -hmm. day I've made, what do you think, Earl? Mm -hmm. God didn't say that. Mm -hmm. You know, God didn't say, what do you think, Maureen? Mm -hmm. It doesn't care whether or not, you know, I pass my judgment on it. It is my role is to rejoice and be glad in it. It's go. given me my role. There you go. So I only have one role to play if I want to play with God. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So you just keep it simple. That's right. You know, that's my, and with, and with a new teacher, I would say, um, Always keep in mind that you're teaching what you need to learn. Amen. You know, to yeah. make it really simple. You know, it's like don't come from a place where of inequality. Come from a place that this you're saying this so that you can remember. Because yes. it's hard to forget something that you're always reminding someone else about. Yes, and amen. So, and so that's why I started to do it. Yeah, and we were talking last night that everything that our mouth says, our ears have to hear twice. Mm -hmm. That's the reason our mouths are saying it. Because we get two of them, right? Because we, we, we get to hear it twice because it's right. twice the message for us. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Twice the message <laughs> for us. And that's and that's and it seems like, it seems like as long as I look at it that way, then it keeps my ego in check. Yeah. And that's the name of the game anyway. Yeah. Is, is keeping your ego in check. Not trying to control it, humbly destroy it, but to learn how not to listen to its advice. Well, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. In here. my miracle moment. Yes, okay. One of my all-time best, most powerful miracle moments was meeting you. Last, yesterday evening when we met for the first what? time, the things that came through you that you told me were life-changing in a way you would never believe. So one of the most powerful, genuine miracles that I experienced was listening to the Holy Spirit through you and the difference that it made. I That's did not pay him to say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's the truth. I mean that sincerely. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. It's just mm -hmm. God meeting God. You know? yeah. you, I'm just returning to you the joy you've given me, and I'm invested in your happiness. Mm -hmm. Could we be the same being? Could there be one of us there's here? Probably well, that's what I hear. It's the us. rumor. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you so much. much. We'll be Absolutely. back. Earl and I will be back, I'm sure. That's right. Just rolling out a video that's or two. We're right. doing some stuff, creating yeah. some stuff. So um, thank yeah. you for joining us, yeah. and keep, uh, look for the miracles. Yes. Mm. yes.